Hi everyone, welcome back to the Cocktail Vlog. I'm Steve the Bartender and today I'm showing you how to make a whiskey sour. I couldn't believe that I haven't actually made a whiskey sour as a sole video on the channel, so I had to make this one. I was recently on punchdrink.com and I came across an article about the best whiskey sour recipe. They invited 17 of America's best bartenders to submit a whiskey sour recipe and then they sat down with the judging panel and decided which one was the best. So today I'm showing you the three top whiskey sour recipes. Make sure you stick around because the last one, there's a little bit of an unorthodox twist on the whiskey sour, an ingredient that no, wouldn't normally go in one. And probably for that reason, it was voted the best whiskey sour. So traditionally a whiskey sour is just whiskey, lemon juice and sugar. And as time went on, it called for the addition of egg white to add the texture to the drink. I'm not gonna go into the history and the background of the drink. I'll leave that information in the description below because I'm just pumped to try the three best whiskey sour recipes that are available. The first one comes from Neil Bodenheimer. I'll leave more detail about these particular bartenders, where they work, where they're from in the description as well. Um, I'm not gonna remember all those kind of details. This one is a bourbon based whiskey sour. Actually, I'm not gonna do this. I'm gonna follow his recipe to a T which actually calls for dry shaking just some of the ingredients, not all of them. But if you're making this at home, you can dry shake all the ingredients at once if you like. So it calls for 22.5 mil, three quarter ounce of fresh lemon juice. And believe it or not, that is the juice from just two lemons. These things are monsters. Then we've got a small egg. It's actually a large egg, so I'll measure it out. So a small egg is gonna be about 15 mil or half an ounce. And then dry shake those ingredients. Then measure 60 ml, two ounces of bourbon. Add that straight in. And then 22.5 ml, three quarter ounce of one to one simple syrup. and it specifically calls for five ice cubes. Five. Pretty sure, I didn't, I didn't actually write it down, but I'm pretty sure it said shake 20 times. So. Now fill that old fashioned glass with ice. and fine strain over the top. And I have to wait until the foam separates. In the meantime, I'll slice, slice an orange and grab my skewered maraschino. So now that that's separated, spray with Angostura bitters. Kind of missed then. <laughs> and then garnish with a slice of orange and a maraschino cherry. There's number three in the top three whiskey sour recipes. Cheers. That's a bloody delicious whiskey sour. It's, it's like classic style. That's that's pretty much exactly how I would make my whiskey sours. The only difference is I'd do a dash of bitters as opposed to spraying over the top. But I do like the the, the addition of the spray on the top really lets the, the aromatic bitters um, aroma. It's like just really vibrant. It's good. So on to the second best whiskey sour recipe by Eric Adkins. This is incredibly similar to the first one with three subtle changes. We're using slightly less sugar syrup, so therefore it's more acidic and not as sweet. 
and we're serving it up in a coupe glass instead of over ice and no Angostura bitters spray. But apart from that, it's essentially the same. So it's these, these small, minute tweaks that takes it to that next level. According to the judges, I haven't tried it yet, so we'll soon find out. So this one calls for 60 mil of bourbon whiskey and 22.5 mil, three quarter ounce of fresh lemon juice. 15 mil, half an ounce of simple syrup, one to one, and egg white, 15 mil, half an ounce. And again, dry shake. And add five, four cubes. Very specific. Four ice cubes and wet shake. Straight into a chilled glass and double strain. And they have Eric Adkins second most popular whiskey sour recipe. I don't actually think I've ever personally served up a whiskey sour in a coupe glass. I know it's probably pretty popular and a lot of people do it like that. It's just, I haven't. Cheers. As predicted, it's a little bit more acidic kind of subdues the, the whiskey because it's got that, that higher acid profile. I actually think I prefer the first one. Ooh. I like that tiny little bit more of uh, sugar and the aromas for the aromatic bitters, but this is still very, very delicious. Onto the number one whiskey sour recipe by Dan Sabo, as voted by a panel from punchdrink.com. Kind of sounds like I'm uh, doing a sponsored video for Punch Drink, but I'm not. It's just a really good website, so make sure you check it out if you haven't already. The difference with this one is it calls for 100 proof rye whiskey. The original recipe does call for Rittenhouse. I'm using Knob Creek, but it is, still is the same percentage, assuming because it's a stronger whiskey, he has also increased the, the citrus component and also the sugar. So everything's kind of bolstered up. This one calls for 60 mil of 100 proof rye. And then 30 mil, one ounce of fresh lemon juice. And 15 mil of rich simple syrup, which is a two to one sugar syrup by weight. 15 mil, half an ounce. You won't be able to see it on camera, but you can de definitely tell it's a lot thicker than the other simple syrup. Then, secret sauce, 15 mil, half an ounce of freshly squeezed orange juice. Controversial. Freshly squeezed. Then we've got egg white, 15 mil. Now, a small tip, I can't remember who told me this, it wasn't actually that long ago. If you do, uh, want to actually measure out your egg white. If you do use a knife to quickly cut the egg white, then it's actually easier to pour and kind of separate. Otherwise, if you don't do that, the whole thing's just gonna just dump into your jigger. So 15 mil of egg white, and then dry shake. Emulsify the egg. Now this recipe doesn't call for the number of cubes I'm meant to use, so just throwing in a big scoop. Also doesn't call for a double strain, 
So just straining over fresh ice into an old-fashioned glass. So a tiny little bit left in there for later. And garnish with an orange slice. And a maraschino cherry. There you have the best whiskey sour recipe, according to a panel of judges. I have high hopes. Cheers. <laughs> That's really good. That's. I'm going to have to do a side-by-side -side comparison because it's been a couple minutes since I tried the first one. It's definitely got some more kick from the, uh, the 100 proof whiskey. A little bit of sort of subtle spice to it. Let's line up all three. So onto the side-by-side -side tasting of the three best whiskey sour recipes to, to let you know personally what I think. First up, Neil Bodenheimer's Whiskey Sour which I was a little bit sweeter. Bourbon based whiskey sour. All right, it's definitely the sweeter of the three, but I, lo I love it, I like it. The, the uh, beautiful balance between the sugar and the citrus, you could probably do with that template, but use the rye whiskey instead, that would work really nice. This is an extremely crushable whiskey sour recipe. I like it. And onto Eric Adkins. As I said earlier, I've never served my whiskey sour up, but actually, I quite like it. It's dainty. I, I just don't think it's quite balanced. It's a little bit too acidic for me. It just needs that touch more sugar. But again, you can't go wrong with the whiskey sour, they, they're tasty. And this one is by Dan Sabo, voted by panelists as being the number one whiskey sour recipe, utilizing rye whiskey. It's perfectly balanced. So I'm going to take this one out and just be comparing the two because these are the, the two that I prefer. They're both slightly different. You've got this underlying spiciness from the rye whiskey. You've got definitely got more booze there. It's a little bit sweeter. But I like the sweetness. Ugh, it's hard. Please don't comment that I should have a glass of water between tasting them to clear my palate. I'm drinking whiskey sour. I can understand where the panelists are coming from. A little bit more complexity, whether that is a sweeter style whiskey sour. Uh, for the average person, probably make it a little bit sweeter. For someone that loves their whiskey, or a professional bartender, someone that probably drinks a little bit too much, then I'd go for the rye whiskey, the rye forward. At the end of the day, I would absolutely love either of these. I'd like to see your take on it. If you try them both, let me know in the comments below and let me know what your preferred whiskey sour recipe is. So two quick things before I go. If you did enjoy today's video and you love whiskey cocktails, make sure you check out the whiskey cocktail playlist up here. And question of the day I had by, I don't even know who it was. <laughs> and question of the day from Wilson Co. Can I replace lemon juice for the lime juice? Now, you know, Bartending environment, you, you wouldn't do that. But lemon and lime juice is somewhat similar. They're both uh, highly acidic citrus juices. Lemon juice does have more sugar content and lime juice is slightly more acidic. But in saying that, if you don't have access to lemons or you don't have access to limes, then you could easily substitute them. That's not a problem. If I'm making cocktails for friends at home and I've got limes in the fridge, but I wanted lemons, I'll still use the limes. 
but in a professional setting where I'm making drinks for paying guests, I'll make sure I have the, the right citrus for that particular drink. Been saying that at home, do what you want. You can substitute and it works. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you soon for another cocktail video. Cheers.